your friends down there? Uh, so I was walking, walking, I walked the long route right to the, to the uh, reception. Mm -hmm. Good, morning. Good morning. How are you? Looking beautiful. I'm sorry. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's we, we're trying to find it. Guinea fowl. Boom. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Let me stop. I hear. Yes. Liz, I know. What the hell is that? It was flying, huh? Right. <laughs> look, 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 look at the dragonflies. They were mating. Uh -huh. Then, so I'm walking, and bam! The guinea fowl hit the, uh, hit the wall. And oh my goodness. I'm like, oh my god, it's dead. Because then I looked at it, and it was shaking. Oh. I know, I just thought I said just staring at the monkeys in the beginning of the house. It was just the cutest thing ever. Yes. This monkey had to be all Oh, wow. If he was that big, oh my goodness, he's e he's eating too much. I mean, they're vegetarians. That's interesting. Which one? Do that. Are you going to go to the hospital? Or... Okay, everyone. This is Lizzie I have not done a vlog since I've been here in Kenya. And what I want to talk about is our young continental Africans who are trying to devise ways in which they need to or they feel like they should come to the west the only way your country is ever going to change is if you stay there and start enacting change change cannot happen through osmosis no it needs a catalyst and as a young person and being the future of your generation right you should want to be the catalyst to get the change. An example of that would be simply how during the civil rights era in America, if you go back and look at all of those photos, a lot of what you saw in those were young people. You even had children out there protesting to get this change done in a way that is more tenable for us. Yes? So, what I say to you is that you are going to have to not come up with schemes and thinking that other places are better than your homeland. You all have got to stop that. It's always the grass looks greener. It's always that. But if no one starts to change, how will it ever change? It won't. It will continue to stay the same and be stagnant. So, 
stop trying to make ways to circumvent systems and get yourself together to do debauchery to come to these Western nations. One, you need money. And the rules of engagement have changed. First of all, there's a reason why you see a lot of people who have, from the West, those in the diaspora who have married um, continental Africans, and a lot of them have not even made it to the States. You know why? Application fees, the amount of money the federal government needs to see in your bank account, just in case a person decides to flee, all of that. This is not for the faint at heart. You're gonna have to have some money. You're gonna have to have some money. It is what it is. You may not like how, how that goes, but um, a lot of people are not gonna put themselves on the line just so you can say that you're coming to America. Okay? What people like me want you to understand is is that you have to be the change you want to see. And the only way to be the change you want to see is to start by changing with yourself. Changing with yourself. Stop thinking that the grass elsewhere is so greener when truly it is not. You all have the best food supply. Okay? <laughs> you, you, you don't understand how many people in these western countries are sick with so many different ailments because of a tainted food system. Like stuff that you all never understand. You all are not hurting for food. You all can grow stuff in your backyard without regulation. And no one's coming to bother you. Whereas for us, we have laws against certain type of lemon trees you can grow on your own land. A certain type of lemon tree that cannot be grown on your own property. I mean, I'm just giving you surface stuff. Minuscule aspects of what is to come. Okay? So I implore you. Do better. Be better. Stop thinking that everywhere around you sucks because it doesn't. You have to be asking yourself, why are these people coming to my country? Why do they want to come here? Why? 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 Okay? There's a reason. There is a reason. And that reason is for something that you refuse to see. And to have your own patriotism towards your own homeland. Do better. Stop trying to conjure up ways to get to the West. Conjure up ways to make your country better than what it is. Conjure up ways to organize and be systematic about how you come up with your plans of ingenuity to make your world a better place. Yes. This is what I'm asking of you. I know it's not what you want to hear, but it is what it is. I'm not here to stroke your ego. I'm here for truth. And if I knew back in my 20s what I know now, you can rest assured, I would never would have made the trek back. Elizabeth out.